Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and I had a viewer ask me about if I made this spray can, which I did. It, uh, I'm just spraying brake clean out of it. You can pump it up with your air hose, and it has a very big fill, so it's easy to fill up. You don't need a siphon or anything. This is what I consider a prototype, and I, I want to make a couple changes because if this falls off a table, this will hit the ground and inevitably the solder joint will break so I'm going to make some modifications to this so that it's easy to fill up and I'm also trying to save some money here because these get to be expensive I've noticed prices have gone up and uh, I started buying brake clean in uh, five gallon jugs so to build this refillable sprayer you're going to need a valve stem and I've already removed the rubber. I heated this up and split it with a knife and pulled on it with the pliers. Cleaned it on a wire brush so that's ready to go. That's uh, all brass. You need to remove the Schrader valve so you might need a Schrader valve re removal tool if you don't have one. And then uh, this is a 3 8 NPT to quarter inch NPT reducer. I'll put a link down below and this is a quarter NTP plug for this and this thing just grabs on to the valve stem and makes it a little easier for cleaning on a wire brush and stuff like that. You're going to need an empty spray can. This one I don't like this type of uh, sprayer because when this falls and that snaps off this can's useless. This can, it's actually protected if it falls. Uh, it doesn't guarantee it's not going to break, but it does a lot better. So I'd recommend this type of can. This one happens to be a 3M brand. So here's the can I'm going to use for today's project. So the first thing you want to do, you want to stay away from the edge here and the edge up here. And you got to watch inside the can is plastic, so you can't really get it too hot. Um, I am going to put two holes in this can. The can's empty. So about two inches up, we'll put one right there. And we're gonna put one right here. And now what I'm gonna do is just fill the can with water to make sure that there's no solvent in it whatsoever. And I'm just going to take a die grinder with a little flap disc and I'm going to remove the paint. I'm now going to drill two 3 16 inch holes. And I'm going to make the bottom hole a half inch now. I'm now going to use a reamer bit on the bottom hole just to make it a little wider. So I'm going to take a pipe thread tap. This one's a 3 8 NPT tap. And I'm going to put it in this hole and sort of widen it a little bit. Alright, there's still water in the can about a little more than half full. So I'm putting some flux on here and what we want to do is apply some solder to the outside of both these holes. And I did remove the paint. You want to build up the solder around the outside pretty thick so that way if it does fall there's something supporting it. I put this little stem on here so I can hold on to that. This thing should thread in here. So that valve stems in there with the Schrader valve removed. 
Now we'll just solder it up. Remember, there's still water in here. That water in there, what that does is that prevents the plastic tube from melting. pull that guy out you can hear there's a little bit of sediment in there I'm just gonna wash that out until it comes out and shake it so put in Schrader valve and this is a plug And then we'll fill it with air, and we'll see if it leaks. You might need to touch up the solder. This one's good. So this is the five gallon container that I get the brake parts cleaner in. So the nice thing about this is that you could fill this up really quick. So when this runs out, you remove the Schrader valve. You remove your plug. The nice thing about the plug is this gives you a pretty good size opening. You could go bigger if you wanted. This is just an MPT pipe fitting hooked on a hose to a funnel. You need to pull this other Schrader valve thing out so that uh, it can fill easily. And you want to fill the can probably, well, it, you know, if you put 12 ounces in, that'd be about perfect because that's what the can's made to hold. Now I just fill it from that five gallon thing right into here. And then we'll pour this and fill it up. No leaks, no waste. You're saving a ton of money this way. A lot of the other ones online, they work the same way, but they don't have this. They only have one fill, and then you got to hold it upside down, use a syringe or something. You know, it just it's a good idea. It's just kind of a pain to fill. I know because I made one. And I was like, this is taking forever to fill, and uh, I wouldn't refill it. I'd just start using new bottles. So um, this design is, is going to be much faster. Also, the good thing is this is, it, when you stand it up, you'll see how high you have it filled. So, you know, you can fill it and if, until it comes out here and then, you know, catch the excess. But I got it filled just about right because it's not coming out. All right, so that's good. We'll put the Schrader valve in. We'll fill it up. We'll show you how it shoots out there. So guys, here's the prototype and here's the new one. The advantage is this thing's kind of bulky and as I said, it was a prototype. So I think this is a better design. If it falls, these solder joints shouldn't break. If they do, you'd want to dump out the brake clean and then fill it with water and solder it again main thing is when you do this you don't want to get this bottom too hot because I believe they use a glue to seal this in and the heat will melt that glue and then you'll get leaks at the bottom I know from experience same with at the top and you also want to make sure you put water in it because of all the plastic so you can make one of these and they work quite well easy to fill you're saving some money that way or you can use one of these shore shots with a nozzle the problem with this is the uh, the nozzle doesn't seem to have as much spray power see how that's kind of weak this this nozzle is bigger and this straw if you're cleaning carburetors is much smaller so uh, this is good for cleaning something like a tractor engine but if you're working on a carburetor uh, I, I'm going to be using these. 
So anyhow, guys, I'm Double Wide Six. I'll put some links to all the products I used. And if you don't subscribe, subscribe. There's always good info here. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a good one.